hello guys and welcome back to a more classic style herping video featuring a ton of amazing animals and one of the worst snake bites I've ever seen. Warning, this video includes graphic scenes. I literally sliced and diced him. What's up guys, welcome back to Hua Hin and welcome back to a new video. Before I get started talking about what this video will entail, I quickly want to discuss something that's been difficult for me recently, and that's been getting videos out on a weekly basis. I'm so incredibly swamped with work with Explore Herpetology that I've been desperately scraping together an evening of filming, a couple hours to edit, and honestly, with the amount of work I've got coming up, I don't know how I'm going to continue making weekly videos. That said, I got this video out and I'm about to embark on a two week trip to Northern Thailand in which I really hope I'll be able to film significant amounts of exciting content. So even if there's a week break, I'm hoping that I can get back to weekly videos after that. I wanna do more than weekly videos, I really do. I so enjoy making these YouTube videos. It's incredibly fun. I love the creative process, but unfortunately I just don't have time right now. But. Today's video is gonna be a pretty simple concept. We're gonna be going out cruising in the Western Hills until we find a rare snake. Now, what does a rare snake entail? I'm gonna quickly try to list everything that will count as a rare snake. Burmese Python, Oligon Hua Hin, Baron's Kukri Snake, Lycodon Lauensis, Malayan Crate, Small Spotted cor Coral Snake, Monocle Cobra, Siamese Cat Snake. There may have been some even rarer things that are missing off the list, but otherwise anything apart from those things is not rare. So hopefully we can get something cool. Me and Cass are gonna head out west after dinner, so I'll catch you then. Peace. All right, so we've just got to what I consider the cruising road, although this particular stretch of road, I actually hope we don't see a snake on it because I don't know if they'll be there tonight, but there are elephants regularly along this road. They love to occupy this area, this flat area of forest, and it's not uncommon at all to encounter elephants here. So we're gonna keep the camera rolling or have it at the ready. And if we see any elephants or any snakes, we'll roll. And sure enough, we encountered multiple elephants of different sizes, all in the first few minutes of cruising. Okay, here we have our third elephant and it's another baby. I don't know, it's not a good look at it, unfortunately. These aren't any elephants, by the way. This area where we're in is the number one place in the world for human elephant conflict. Okay guys, so pretty slow start to the night, honestly. It's been over an hour of cruising and we just got our first snake of the night, which is this adult male Trimurosaurus albolabris white lip pit viper. We're kind of familiar with the species. They featured a few times in the last video, although that's in a slightly different part of the area, but I won't spend long with this one. Good to see our first snake of the night. Hopefully we have some more activity in the next hour or so. Well, we went over an hour with nothing, but now within five minutes, we got two interesting snakes here. Cast, take over the filming for a second. Check it out, guys. You'll all recognize this one. They've featured on my channel many times before. They featured in the very last video. This is a nice adult green ooh, ooh, green cat snake. <laughs> and uh, not too happy that I picked them up right here. But uh, you know, these Boigas, generally they're not very defensive, but I have found green cat snakes to be possibly the most defensive, the most bitey of all the Boigas for sure. <laughs> you see, I'm kind of, it's not exactly like it's lashing out at me, but don't get me wrong. If I gave this an opportunity, to get its uh, mouth around my finger, it wouldn't hesitate. And of course, these are rear fanged venomous species, but uh, I've, I've been bitten by Boigas of this size and bigger on many, many occasions and never had any kind of reaction. They'd have to really, <laughs> they'd have to really get a hold on and chew. And they very, very rarely do that. And even in that situation, you're unlikely to get many effects. Okay, I've been trying to calm this one down. And I think I've somewhat managed to. It's been trying to bite every single time I put my hand anywhere near its upper body, but come take a close up of its head. These have such a cool looking head and look at those white eyes with that intense dark black speckling. It's closed its pupil so much into that slit. It's really cat eyed right now. They're not always like this, you know, obviously when it's dark, they expand their pupil to let in more light. But when we're blasting it, in it right in its eyes with a torch, you see it's almost completely closed them up there, which is really interesting. But 
we've got more snakes to catch. Uh, this is certainly not a rare species and uh, there's elephants in the area. So I don't want to stand out here in the road for too long. So let's let it carry on on its journey. Okay, third snake of the night is finally the first common snake and this, it's this, what the boss was that? Parius bird mori, which is, uh, it looks a bit dead right now, but I promise you it isn't. It's just, yeah, it's just being very defensive, puffing itself up, angling its head downwards, which is apparently what they do. But uh, it's been a very, very slow night out here, but uh, this is quite a nice bird mori individual actually, but I am like smack in the middle of the prime elephant road so i'm gonna keep things moving all right we're near a village so ignore the dogs i know i always say that on this channel but hey it's thailand but here's our fourth snake of the night and finally the common species are coming out in force this is parius margaritivorus certainly not a rare species though as we well know but a pretty one and this is actually the first time i've seen marg on the road out here in quite a while so Nice observation, first one for the channel in a while, and let's keep this train moving. Let's see if we can get something rare tonight. It's been a white lit pit viper party on the roads recently. Done a lot of cruising out here in the dry season. Didn't get one single one of these crossing the road, even though we got countless other snakes as you would have seen in my previous videos. But I'm gonna let this guy get on with his journey. No need to disturb him. We've seen a lot of these recently, so let's keep it moving. Okay, this officially confirms that the white lips are back. They are active again. This is the third adult male and by far the biggest of the night. Honestly, this is the biggest uh, male white lip pit viper I've seen in a while. Take a look at this guy. He's kind of like thinking, you see by his eyes like, Ooh, what's going on? What's going on here? Do I need to freeze? Let me freeze. I'm uncamouflaged. I must be camouflaged. I'm green, right? No, bud, you're not. I mean, you are green, but you're not camouflaged, so. I'm going to chuck you off the road. Well, come midnight, or more specifically, 11.52, the snakes are active, and this is our first female white lip pit viper of the night. A nice chunky female. Uh, some faint banding on her. Extremely neon green coloration. But uh, you must be getting bored of these guys by now, so I'm going to let this one scoot right off. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, all the snakes have come out after well around midnight this time we just got this lovely pale colored oligodon fasciolatus i've seen a few of these recently actually they've been kind of active in my area unfortunately this one is uh just pretending to be invisible on the road here but wow what a lovely color on this individual it's not like that incredible orange bright orange one we got on our eastern thailand trip but kind of similar mold but more of like a pale very very pale brownish yellow coloration I like, to say the least. Oh, look at him flattening his body. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to show you that he's very much alive. And when they uh, puff up and flatten out like this, the, the kind of fasciolations in the body become extremely distinct. And uh, unfortunately, this isn't a rare snake, so the game isn't up yet, but certainly nice to get some diversity tonight. And when you reflect on what we found tonight, it hasn't been too bad. It felt incredibly slow since the first part of the night was just uh, at least almost two hours of basically nothing, but uh, that's including the drive out. But yeah, what a lovely snake. Cass, take over the honors, I'm going in. Okay, well, I'm gonna take it on. Me and the Fask are gonna go ooh, head to head here. Ooh. Look at that little like early stage evolution of a rattle. Maybe one day all snakes will evolve a rattle, but one seems a little bit confused. It's, oh, it's not too confused. There we go. I am the Fask Tamer. This one's puffing up its neck. I, I honestly, I've seen them do that a couple times, but not too much. And uh, does he want to bite? I don't think so. This feels like free, oh, oh. this feels like free handling some kind of viper to me. <laughs> But let's be honest, if it nipped me, I'd just be bleeding a bit. But uh, yeah, I'm so tempted to get my camera out for this one here. It's such a beautiful individual, but it's a common species and we're on a mission. So let's set this one off the road and let's keep moving. Okay guys, we just pulled back into our driveway. Um, it's 10 to one in the morning. We left just after that cookery snake. It's around a half hour drive back. Didn't see anything on the way back, same as we didn't see anything on the way over. 
but uh, not the worst night, far from the best. We'll surely be out in the next day or two to continue this challenge and find that elusive rare snake that this video needs. Hello guys, it's the next day and we are about to head back out. As you can see, we're getting out considerably earlier. We're probably gonna be out on the cruising roads around 7.15, 7.20. Keith's here tonight and Harry's also gonna be out on his motorbike, cruising on his own. If he finds something rare, it doesn't count, but maybe we'll get to see it in the video anyway. But uh, it's pretty loud here, so let's get in the car and start cruising. Okay, it's 8.30 now and uh, we, well, it's been pretty slow but it uh, just started to rain and a little snake has emerged onto the road. Unfortunately, it's not uh, the rare snake we're after, but these have been pretty rare around Hua Hin this year. I think this is only the, damn, like third, fourth reticulated python, third one I've caught around here this year. And it's this lovely little juvenile, which is pretty cute, incredibly cute actually. Look at it. It's Look at that orange eye. Articulated pythons are so cool, especially when they're this size and don't pose any immediate threat to you. Okay, let's let's have a quick look at this one before we let it off because this snake is so cute. It's actually insane how cute these retics are. They have such silky iridescent scales at this point. You can you see that kind of rainbow pattern that's emerging where I'm holding it here and. Fortunately, these juveniles tend not to be uh, particularly defensive either. Uh, when you find big retics, they're often pooping all over you, musking and biting, but <laughs> this one's uh, only doing one of those things, which is occasionally trying to bite. It's getting a little bit restless now, you can see. But, oh, okay, now I've officially pissed it off. <laughs> now I've officially pissed it off. It's gone right back into that typical reticulated python mold where it will actually chase you. <laughs> and it indeed is musking and all the above. So yeah, fun times. This has just divulged into disgustingness. So let's let this one get back to its... <laughs> Look at it, look at it. They will actually like straight up just come at you and strike at you. Harold's coming, by the way. I think he probably wants to see it. Yeah, he will. All right, so let's wrap up this clip now. Okay, just minutes after the reticulated python, we got a big green cat snake. This one you see a lot more kind of jungle green than that more yellowish one we got yesterday, but quite a bit larger. Um, I'm gonna pick it up. Unfortunately, this one won't sit still and I don't have any help from the others, so. I don't know how much good video I'm going to be able to get of this, but we saw one last night, so I'm thinking a, a quick release of this lovely green snake off the road will do well. But good to see the snakes moving now. Maybe we can get that elusive rare species in the near future. Okay, a bit of important context before the bite happens. I spotted a cookery snake on the road, and when we got out of the car to look, a ton of dogs came out and were barking at us and attracting the attention of locals. Therefore, we decided to quickly grab the snake and take it somewhere else to film. Keith went to pin it behind the head and, sensing that something could go wrong, I started filming at the last second. Yep, yeah, you're done. Oh, have you got it? Oh, have you got oh, it? Oh, 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 it's bite. Oh, 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 that's a you gotta get it a bit. You've got to get it a bit more behind the head, bro. you got to get yeah, it a bit it, more got behind it, the got head. Got it, got it. Oh, it's but, sliced oh, and diced, you. Uh, oh, oh, this one. Okay, <laughs> this flask is being let go imminently because Look at Keith's hands. <laughs> Whoa, it, I, it sliced, sliced and diced him. We were trying to pin it, or Keith was trying to pin it because he thinks he can pin fast. I almost and got you're it. And actually, is it painful or just bleeding? No, it was just extremely sharp. Wow. I don't know if I can even show that on YouTube. No, just, hey, come here. Cass will fix you up. <laughs> And now get him some like a uh, nice cloth or something. Yeah, but you got quite a cloth or something. This is a warning to anyone who thinks that when I am scared to touch these in my videos and always talk about how they're feared, like he got sliced a couple times while trying to pin it, not even a proper bite. And I mean, look, the freaking pool of water is stained. It's just an endless stream of blood. Like, We're letting the snake get off the road now because well, 
we've got more important things to attend to. For but... context, I've been bitten by those a couple of times before, and that's by far the worst. And I also have pinned them before, but that was just a terrible attempt, and I've paid the price. So. <laughs> Damn, shit got real. This was like this is like the Jakob situation all over again. Yeah. Holy crap, look at this guys. Look at the trail of bloodstains left all over the road by that bask. I'm telling you, man, scariest snake in freaking Southeast Asia on card. <laughs> Okay, so after that fask and the uh, medical emergency which followed, <laughs> this, <laughs> um, we didn't find shit. We cruised around for about an hour afterward, didn't see a single live snake, and so we're heading back now. Unfortunately, we didn't get a rare species tonight, um, but we did see some nice things. The retic, honestly, I've cruised, I've found less of those this year than some of the rare species on the list. So maybe that counts, you know, potentially we can slide that one in. But I hope you enjoyed the video anyway, and uh, I'll catch you next week. So a little bonus clip for the end of this video, just a bit of lifestyle vlogging, just shopping uh, late night at 7-Eleven. So I've got here two ice creams I've never tried before. One is Greek yogurt and then some Korean like, texture. And the other one is blueberry cheesecake sandwich ice cream. And of course, we've tried this before. Sparkling water, absolutely essential. The only water I drink here, unless it's severely desperate times. It's Keith, sparkling water. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Essential? Essential. But not as essential as a plaster. No, I'm just kidding. It's totally fine. <laughs> Let me see your hand. Wow. Let me see those. Bring, little, bring show me, me this, this finger. Wow. Wait, wait. This one's kind of bruised already. You can see it now. Whoa. <laughs> it's like a, that's actually like a like an actual venomous snake bite. Jerk. Hold on. It's not going in focus. That is insane. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, great. What, that is whoa, ridiculous. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so little trying out the Greek yogurt and then some Korean writing ice cream. What's it like? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually good. It's actually good. Mm. Decent. Just like an 8 out of 10. A solid 8 out of 10. Not too sweet, but fruity and ice cream texture. I'm fucking sold, bro. <laughs> Alright, that Did you park your car right where the fucking bikes are meant to be? <laughs> Look at this god boss here. The road is there. The road is there and the fucking like, cars. <laughs> like right there. Usually I park it even worse, like diagonally <laughs> on the fucking road. This time I like pulled into the side <laughs> This, this guy's fucking rogue. <laughs> <laughs>